I mean, back home, we used to hear about how going to school in the UK is so easy because, you know, everybody is making decisions. It's so easy. It's like a walk in the park, you know. And reality now. Mm. So I don't know whoever started this. Oh, it's so easy to study in the UK. It should be flogged. Hi guys welcome back to the channel thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for all the love i see it and i'm appreciative of it and i'm really grateful to you guys you know um i've seen a lot of people i've heard a lot of people you know personal relationships that i've had with people and you know how people come here and you know they'll be like ah not be waiting then tell us with this so like you know they think or oh, they said going to school in the uk is very easy why are we struggling and all of that and you know i think it's worth it to actually put this out because you know so someone out there is coming to the uk with the mentality of oh going to school in the uk is not hard you know we'll just go there and you know i don't know people i don't know if people actually realize the fact that you can actually fail your courses here you know like so many things can come into play with you and we could make someone fail courses you know so i just want to discuss a little bit about you know all these things that you have to do as a student right so basically the first thing is that considering that most people that are coming for masters now i understand that for some people it's a jackpot means for some people it, they genuinely want to do this thing right so especially for those people that it's a jackpot means and these people especially for also people that have gone to school for the, for the longest period of time like the study gap is so big you like it's just a big shift Coming from the world of, you know, you are working, you are, all of, you are doing all of that and, you know, having having to transition into going back to school. It's actually a lot itself. It's, uh, it's, it's draining and all of that, right? Now, considering the fact that the way they go, the way they teach you and the way they, you know, the way they lecture and the way they take and um, do exams and all of that is very different from our home country. Yeah. If you are from Nigeria and you, you are watching this, you would, um, you know, attest to the fact that it's not the same. Right. So in Nigeria, we would usually just read, you know, write your exam and it's not an open book exam. So everybody basically, most times everybody just read to pass. Right. And that was what we know. We never really used to do like report writing and all of that until like the final year when you do projects and some people will just outsource that right so coming here to a country where you have to do all of that yourself is just a big shift right so now people will not go going to the um, you know going to the school in the uk is easy and all of that but there are some things that you need to know right and i want to actually prepare your mind i'm not doing this video to actually scare you it's just to prepare your mind that there are some things that you might struggle with a lot of people struggle when they come here but i, I, I trust me it gets better with time because you not get used to the system and all of that right so the the first thing is just the fact that you know you are going to do a lot of report writing right and then you cannot do and very so just to say like you can't do you saw it on google and you are lifting it into your report because there's going to be a plagiarism test right and i think for most schools it's about 10 to 15 percent if anything is if it's more than that you're going to you're going to face panel right so this is actually a very very big deal for for most people and you know having to write things in your own word coming from a country that you never used to do that so that's actually a big struggle for people right and then another thing is that i've noticed like especially for people like in the engineering field right so there are some things that there are some software that they believe that you should have gone through as an undergraduate student but coming from where we are coming from we didn't uh, we didn't have exposure to that and this is why you see like indians like really excelling because they went to technical school and all the software they are they are um they're already you know accustomed with all this stuff software so coming to here um coming to this country they'll be like okay they could just throw your assignment like do this on, on this software and you're, you're like okay what's happening here because you have no idea what is going on and i don't blame you it's just the way our education system is in nigeria right and then another thing is the fact that so like a lot of people are switching careers they are trying to like go into a new so let's say now you use you studied biochemistry and now you're doing data analysis right so this is a big shift going from that to this and you know it's it's actually a lot you know there's coding some of some people might not code and all of that so having to learn that with you know adult brain i don't know it's, it's easy for a child right you know the way adult brain is we have so many things to worry about so you know so that going for going through that also you 
contribute to you know making school so difficult and all of that right and then what do i think you can actually do like to make things better for yourself and before i even go to that you know you also need you are you're also going to work right so this is another thing that is that is a contributing factor that makes school very you know that might make school difficult right so what do i think you can do the first thing i think you can do is like prepare your mind like and if you already have that mindset like oh going to school in the uk is easy please i beg you be in that mindset now and prepare your mind that oh it might be challenging and all of that and you're ready for the you're ready for the um challenge ahead right another thing i also want to advise is that please don't don't just be by yourself you need to mingle you need to you know move with people and you don't necessarily have to move with people in from your country right spread your tentacles you know because you need you might need help and the way people pick things are you know is different from everybody um, each other right so you need you need to mingle with people you know if you feel like you're struggling with something speak to someone speak to your lecturer and all of that right and then another thing i also want to advise is that for report writing you need to do references right so the way the reference could be on the on the on the school website if you can actually be looking at that you know get yourself accu accustomed with this thing before you actually come here you know it would be a at um you know it would be of great advantage right so the most important thing is just that also uh the fact the fact that we are we are trying to you know Everyone is trying to move out of the country and all of that. And you're also trying to do it because there's on the shortage employment list. Please do something that you actually like. Because if you don't like this course and you're finding it difficult, you know, it's, it's going to be very hard to pass this course. And the most important thing you, you need to know is that if you don't pass your course when you're supposed to pass, like if you don't pass and finish school where you're supposed to finish school, you will not be eligible for your post-study work visa. And, you know, that's really, 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 um, you know, um, very important for you to get. So please, if you are struggling, if you speak to your lecturers, speak to the support group, speak to your fellow students, you know, take more time to read don't don't overwork yourself i understand that you want to make money and all of that but please try to strike a balance because if you do not finish your studies you might not be able it's not even you might not you will not be able to get a um, post-study work visa and you might want to be applying for you know um extension and you're applying for tier 4 visa extension and all of that and some school might not want to give you another cast for that so that all of those things is really stressful so my advice for you is just prepare your mind you know know that there's a challenge ahead prepare your mind be ready and you know be very social mingle with people and then speak to people if you are struggling please don't keep it within yourself speak to people and then things will be better right so i just thought that oh i i should share this with you guys and i hope this video is going to help someone out there and see you guys in the next video